Well, here we are, Big Sue. My wedding day. Words I never thought I would ever say. And yet here we are. And I get to marry my very own guiding light. I'm sure Erica Kane would have plenty of tips on how to make this day even more magical. Probably talking to a slab of concrete in Hollywood would not even make the list. But I couldn't pass up the opportunity to come chat with my favorite soap opera bride. <laughs> now I know soaps have not been on my mind a lot this year and for that I am truly sorry, but they have not been far from my heart. I promise that once I say I do to Doyle, I will come back and together you and I, we will reignite the light because I have not given up on that dream. But for now, I better run because there's a man waiting to become my husband. Do you remember the plan? Yes, Mom. We've gone over it a million times. I know what I have to do. Look, I am sorry to put you in the middle of this, but it's definitely needed. Okay. He lost a son, I lost a brother, and this woman will pay for that. Hmm, just don't get agitated. I still need you to be the loving groom if we're going to pull this thing off. Don't worry. It will work. Hey! Woman just dropped this off for you. Said it was urgent. Thank you. Hopefully it's not some big reveal that you're already married because news like that on your wedding day really sucks. Oh, wait a minute. I know you. Well, I would hope so. We've had plenty of enlightening conversations in the past. Susan, Susan Coochie. Uh, wait a second. I thought you were just in my dreams. Honey, reality, it is fluid. And I'm here just to check in on you and make sure you understand what you are getting yourself into. You mean marrying the man of my dreams? Um, I think so. It just seems so sudden, like... What do you really know about this man? I know that he is probably the one person in my life that cares the most about me. Oh, present company excluded, of course. I just think you should take a moment and think about what you want, what you really, truly want. Well, I mean, what I've always wanted. To be loved. Well, what about your dreams of soap opera stardom? Miss Coochie, with all due respect, I believe it was you who said that dreams change and evolve. And today I'm focusing on my relationship and marrying the man of my dreams. Tomorrow, well, who knows what tomorrow will bring. Well, I, for one, cannot wait to tune in tomorrow and find out what happens next in this saga you call life. Now let's get you to the restaurant. Oh, but before we go, just know that I will always support you, I will always love you, and I will always protect you. You are one of a kind, Susan Coochie. Thank you. Don't you forget it. Oh, and Paul, one more thing. Yeah, what is it? Buckle up, buttercup. You heard from Paul? No. He just said there was someone he needed to see before the ceremony. But everyone he knows is here. Is it just me? Or does Paul's therapist look familiar? That's so weird. I was thinking the same thing. I do mm. feel like I've seen her before. But maybe she just has one of those faces. Oh my gosh. I'm here. I'm here. Sorry I'm late. Sorry. Oh. Mm. Hi. Good to see you. Okay. Show of hands. Who's excited to get married today? <laughs> <laughs> you look great. You really do. Let's get you married. All right, let's do this. <laughs>
Welcome family, friends, and loved ones. We gather here today to celebrate the marriage of Paul and Doyle. You have come to share in the commitment that they are making to each other, to offer your love and support to this union. Paul and Doyle have written their own vows to share with each other, but before we do that, I ask you to remember that love rooted in faith, trust, and acceptance is the foundation of an abiding and enduring relationship. No other ties are more tender. No other vows are more sacred than those you are about to commit to. Paul? If I can get through this without crying, that will be a miracle. <laughs> Doyle. My missing puzzle piece. Finding you was a dream come true. A dream that I never knew I wanted or needed. Here we are and we fit so beautifully together. You have been so supportive through everything. And I could not have asked for a better man to stand by my side for the rest of my life. I wanted to say something profound and meaningful today, and then I thought maybe I should just recite the lyrics to the Passions theme song. <laughs> you are my fire, my passions for life. But then I realized that would make me a giant cheese ball. So I will just say this, Doyle, I love you more than any soap opera theme song could describe. I will hold on to our love because love is all that we have. And love will find a way to see us through. No, 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 not oh, yet. Sorry. <laughs> Joel, it's time for your vows. Meeting you was no chance accident. We were clearly destined to stand here today. Clearly a force greater than ourselves was at work to bring us here, together. <clears throat> I can't do this. This is not what you think. I'm so sorry. You've given me your love, your light, your energy, and in return, I've been pretending to be something that I'm not. And I've lied to you and I'm what? so are sorry. Why are you talking like that? I'm talking, I'm just saying, none of this is real. My love for you, this has all been a plot to destroy you and your family and I'm you so sorry. You destroy my family who talks like that? Are you insane? None of my children are insane. Mother. No, it's okay. The entire truth is going to be made public anyway. You're Doyle's mother? Yes, that's right. And Doyle was right. He's never loved you. In fact, Neither of my boys ever loved you. What? Stop it right now! Oh, well, look whose memories have finally returned. It's funny, isn't it? You're not the only one, Paul, who's had a memory lapse. Should I be the one to fill in the blanks for him? Or do you want that honor, Mo? I did what I had to do to protect my son. Protecting your son? Destroyed mine. And now I can't wait to destroy yours. What? Oh! I don't understand. I don't. I don't know. I uh, I still love you. <laughs> I love you, Toyo. I always loved you. What are you waiting for? Somebody call 911? Uh, did anybody see what happened? You didn't think I'd let you marry somebody other than me, did you? I have loved you. From the very first moment I met you, Polly. No one can make you as happy as I can.